All right, there's a good reason that JB is smoking before me because we had to film a little kind of a promo video for a brand new cigar drop that we have coming out right now called, you'll find out next, on the Zeal Cigar Review. Well, I don't know if you've ever seen a cigar that has all three mainline wrappers in it, but I got one for you that will make the perfect nightcap for your night. Thus, we called this cigar Nightcap. And JB already started it because we kind of did a little promo video for it. But look at the burn, look at the Connecticut, the Habano, and the Maduro. The best of all worlds in one single cigar. And I cannot wait to get into it. So you know what I gotta do? I gotta cut light in. Whoa. How is it so far, man? You're into the first you're in the very first part of it. Is it good? I mean, is it something that I mean you're it's enjoyable and everything else like that? So I've never had a tri wrap like layered cigar before. I'm gonna leave like my notes out until you start smoking it a little bit but okay it's it's very good is it okay yeah definitely cool. a good morning stick oh that's at least, awesome at least the first third the first third of it like do you stop yeah like is this something that you smoke in one sitting morning like, noon and night morning down, noon and night yeah 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 morning noon and night i live my life a third of a cigar at a time right that's really good man that's a solid connecticut Right there. That's a solid Connecticut right there. There's one very distinct note I'm gonna see if you get that I'm getting out of this. Very light spice, one and a half, I would say on the retro hail. I got no I got I got no spice. Yeah, it's very light. I got no spice. I mean I got no pepper, I should say. There is yeah. a pleasant Blake Baker spice in there. Yes. Um Yeah, no pepper. Is that what you're trying to tell me? That's the note of the Baker no, spice? Okay. No, no. Something else. I know what you want me to say. Cookie dough. Okay, I'll I, yeah, yeah, I know exactly. Because it does taste like that. That's not it, what I was going to okay, say. We're going to say like brown but sugar? I'll accept it. Brown sugar? I was going to say like a sweet bread. Okay. Uh, yeah. Which a cookie could technically be a yeah, sweet, sweet bread. <laughs> it's a sweet dough. <laughs> right, right. Well, I'll definitely say it does have a little bit of cookiness in there. Or sweet bread, brown sugar. It's got a, yeah. baker, it's got a baking kind of um, taste to the flavor on that. It's very good. Very good Connecticut. You said something about it when I was lighting it up for the video, though. It smelled delicious. Yeah. It really did. Yeah. I, we were kind of filming a, a promo video for the cigar, and the very first, you know, part of the cigar in the Connecticut smelled like a, almost like a, a, a cookie, a, a cookie tobacco bake, <laughs> if you would. So it smelled very sweet and savory. You know, what's funny is that this cigar looks really similar to the Double Down, but mm -hmm. I don't know that it this Connecticut at the beginning tastes like the beginning of the Double Down. No. Well, the Double Down, I think, has a Habano and a Maduro, not a Connecticut. Oh, I don't think okay. it has a Connecticut. I think it's a Habano. Or, a, or I think it's a Habano or a different type of Connecticut. Or a Cameroon. It might be or a Cameroon. Cameroon. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. The reason it's called Nightcap is because it gets you through the night all the way to the very end. And so when it's at the very end of this, in the Nightcap, you're smoking a sweet, savory Maduro that is supposed to be this absolute chocolate dream. So you go from like light cookies into, I'm really curious what the Habano tastes like. I know. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Especially after smoking the Papa Hawk the other day because mm -hmm. that Habano and that added a, a very generous amount of spiciness. Did it? Yeah, so. This is really good. It's fantastic. It's a little bit, it's a little kitschy because you don't usually see cigars with three yeah. wrappers on them uh, that aren't like, you know, pinstriped or barber poles. Uh, so this is kind of a layered experience. I'm really looking forward to seeing what this tastes like. Little bit of grassiness in there. Just a little bit. I don't taste any grassiness. I got a little bit on that puff. I got a lot of, uh, I got a lot of sweet like bread. Yeah, dude. A lot of sweet bread. Yeah, sweet creaminess. Yeah. It's really good. Very toasty. Very toasty. Very good cigar. It reminds me of like, so I used to live uh, really close to a, uh, a bread uh, factory called Klosterman's. Oh, in I'm Springfield, Klosterman. Ohio. Yeah, I'm yeah, Klosterman's. Yeah, I'm Klosterman's. So I live right next to where they Shout used to Shout out, make Ohio. That. Yeah. I could throw a rock and hit the hit the building. Oh, no kidding. And uh, so every morning, man, when we woke up and you opened the window, it was fresh baked bread. Like you just mm. get that like yeast in the air. This tastes like you would almost eat, like if you tried to eat the air. Yeah, at the, that's yeah, awesome, By dude. the bread factory, yeah. Oh, dude. Shout out to Klosterman's, bro. I don't even know Speaking, if they're they still there. I don't know. Speaking of Ohio, though, I should did know. you ever, did you, do you guys ever have like the Hostess, like discount little bitty uh, stores around where they would take the expired Hostess uh, stuff to and uh, sell? You, ever, you, never, you never saw that? No. Yeah, are I you had serious? Bread, I had bread outlets. Yeah, it's like an outlet, but it was. But I didn't know they sold like expired. Like one day. Twinkies. Like one day. Yeah, like one day expired. 
Yeah, they, they get rid of them the next day, but they take the one day expired Twi- there. Did Twinkies even expire? Bro? I don't think they ever do. But like, so that one of my favorite, you know, fat kid memories ever. I is, wasn't uh, gonna say that's a fat kid. Oh, thing, dude, it's but totally you, fat kid you thing, did, man. So yeah. I can say it now. Yeah, I lost weight, so I can feel better about saying that now. But here you go. But I remember being in like junior high, and you for like a dollar you could get like six, you know, six like honey buns, six like Twinkies, <laughs> six like it was like a quarter a piece. It was incredible. Bro, you can't you even know? get one honey bun for like two bucks. I now. know, right? Well, guys, despite the bread and the sweetness on this, we're gonna come back to you and let you know how it transitions going from the Connecticut into the Bondo in just a minute. So we'll be right back. So guys, we are back, and we are just at the edge of it going from the Connecticut to the Habano. And what's something you're noticing that I think that's really interesting? You said you're getting something, a note at the very transition. What is that? Yeah, like right here where I'm at, it started getting kind of like milk chocolatey with like kind of familiar to like the nougat that you would get from like a Three Musketeers bar where it's like right. very little chocolate, right. lots of nougat. Right, right. Very nougaty. Oh, man. <laughs> I haven't had a cigar this nougaty in a while. I'm just going to keep saying nougaty. I'll, I'll say this. Nougaty, nougaty, It's nougaty, surprisingly nougaty. good. Surpri- I never thought that like no, it's a three layered cigar would ever be this good. It's surprisingly good. Well, we don't know yet. We haven't smoked. I know, but I'm, I'm assuming if the first just third was that good, getting into the second third is just going to be a little bit more of a kick. So, I've crossed over now. I fully crossed over. I fully crossed over. No more Connecticut. I'm into the Habano. And I and it is that sweet nougaty, that sweet almost a little more caramel I would say than nougat. So maybe a caramel, maybe a Snickers nougat. You know, a little nuttiness. Yeah, that's why I said Three Musketeer, because there's, like, no hardly chocolate on that compared to... Dude, it's really... It's super good. It's like a treat. It's like a treat cigar. It's not flavored, but it, it is very, very sweet. Look at that. No more Connecticut left. All oh, that ash, dude. Oh, that ash is ridiculous. I can't believe it's hanging on that good. Okay. Little bit more of the baker spice from like a one and a half to like a two and a half, yes. maybe a three. Yes, I would agree. I would agree. Maybe a slight note of leather on the transition. Give me some we'll caramel see. with that. Give me some caramel. Maybe, maybe I think caramel is leather. I don't know. I don't, maybe you do because you say leather for everything. Not everything. Lots of things. I say cocoa for everything. It's like at the beginning <laughs> when everybody was like, all you say is everything is nutty. I do say nutty too. No, me. They said that I said everything was nutty. I'll tell you what's not nutty. This cigar, it's a phenomenal, phenomenal cigar. I just can't, I'm kind of giddy about it. I had no idea it was gonna be this good, man. This is really kind of yeah, cool. Was, this was unsmoked. This is this is sm- first smoked with you guys right now. Yeah, this is one of those, this is one of those ones that we, we, uh, we smoked on a risk, you know, saying, you know, let's, let's see if it, we're gonna like these and- We'll do it live. Yeah, we, we are loving them evidently, so. As fast as you smoke, too, I'm surprised that that hasn't coned already and and fallen off. Also, I was going to say this, too. Mine started off a little bit tight, but opened up uh, as far as the draw goes. No, yeah, the, the draw no draw issue. The draw is not padronish, but it's it's a very good draw. It's a normal draw. It's a normal draw. It's just a little it's a little tighter for some people. Are, it, at I mean, first, yeah. it's not now. It, oh, it opened up about an inch in. Dag on the smokeability on this is just phenom- phenomenal. I would feel comfortable getting this to the first time smoker. Really? I would. Yeah. Well, there's no pepper. There is a lot of flavor. Yeah, there's tons of flavor. Yeah. yeah. But, I, but would a first time smoker catch that? I would want to know. We'll have to test it. That's not a bad idea. That's incredible, dude. Look at the ash. Yeah, I'm really impressed by if, how if, this is burning. If right I now. did, if I did not know that it was us doing this and, and so on and so forth, right? If I did the not Dairy know Queen this, test, was, dude. look at that, dude. If I did not know that this was us doing it, I would swear someone put a toothpick in there somewhere. People or, do that, or put like they put, uh, yeah, for some of the pictures you see, no, they'll cheat. Yeah, they'll put they'll put a uh, they'll take a uh, paper clip and put it out and put a metal rod all the way through. No, so did, yeah, I've seen people do it. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Oh no, dude, you're not really coning that bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, I I ashed on myself. Well, guys, we're gonna hit the pause button real quick. Come back, and we are definitely gonna show you what the transition from the Habano into the Maduro really tastes like. So stay tuned. Okay. All right, guys, so we are back, and we are at the very end of this beautiful triple-layer nightcap. And the reason it's called nightcap is it gives you the best of all worlds all at the end of your night, which is just incredible. We're at the Maduro section. Tell me what you're getting out of that. And the, the Habano was nice and, like, 
like really nuggety, caramely, leathery. It was really, spy, really good. A little, a little spice on there. Yeah. Oh yeah, tell me about your experience with the Maduro. Um, in the transition, you get a little bit of like that leathery mix with some chocolatey, like rich, dark chocolate notes. At this at this moment, it's it's really just rich, dark cocoa. I would agree, and I would say, and I'd add one more thing to it. It's got a little bit more kick mm -hmm. at the very end, a little bit more kick. I'd say if the spice on this went from like a one to two and uh, and do a three in the Habano, I'd say this is probably a solid four. It's not it's not so much that it's going to burn your nasal cavity or anything like that, but it's enough that it's noticeable and it's there. I'd say it's a little more pomp and circumstance, if you will. For sure. You know? I would say this is one of those cigars that people will... If I'm sitting in my in my humidor and I'm just like, what do I want to smoke? Do I want something light? Do I want something dark? Yeah. Do I want that? Do I want that? I don't know. You could go with this, and it would it would absolutely hit probably at least one, if not two, or more right flavors that you're looking for. If you're having a hard time figuring out what to smoke. Mm. Well, guys, this has been our review of the Nightcap Cigar. If you've had these cigars, drop a comment below and let us know what you thought about the Nightcap. And for the Zeal Cigar Review, I've been Bradley. He's been JB, and we're out of here like you guessed it last year. Peace.